This is part three of Mrs. Roth's general science lecture for module one, or I'm sorry, module nine, week one. We're resuming here with uh, doing experiment 9.2. So you should have your lab report and your colored pencils available to fill this out. So this particular experiment is called, is about finding food in plants. What is the purpose of this experiment? Well, in the introduction, it shows us that the purpose of this experiment is to show that plants have starch in them, which is their stored food. So we've learned about photosynthesis and metabolism and how plants store their food that comes out of photosynthesis as starch. Well, we want to confirm that. Do plants really have this starch in them? In order to do that, we're going to look at this uh, starch, which is the glucose that is stored by the plant. It is stored as starch. And that starch gets turned a dark blue color by the chemical iodine. So we're going to put iodine on some things. And if they turn blue, that confirms that they have starch in them, which is the food of plants. Now, let's do a little review. What do we call the part of an experiment to which all others will be compared? Do you remember? That is called the control of the experiment. We are going to have two different controls in this experiment. We're going to have one control that shows us what something looks like when you put this iodine on it if it does have starch, and then we're going to have, oh, and that particular item that we're going to use is bread. I hope you all have enough uh, experience in life that you know that bread contains starch. Then we're going to have a second item that we all know does not contain starch, so that we can see what happens when you put that iodine on something that doesn't have starch. And what we're going to use for that is cheese. Now, cheese is a protein, but cheese does not have starch in it. So, we'll start with item number one, and you need to draw a picture of this. What I did here is I took a little bit of iodine, and I used an eyedropper, and dropped it on a piece of bread. And you can see that it turns this, this very dark blue, almost black, but it is a very deep blue color. So this is our control showing us, okay, this is what happens when we put iodine on something that contains starch. Now, you can see that I dropped the iodine onto this piece of cheese. You can kind of see where it, where the, it discolored it, but you can see it is definitely not that dark, dark blue color that we saw. And that is because there is no starch in cheese and therefore the iodine is not coloring it that deep blue color. So now we know what we're looking for. If it colors it that deep blue color, like it did on the bread, that gives us, that confirms that there is starch in it. So now we have our two, the next two things we have are our items that we're going to test to see whether or not they have starch in them. The first thing we're going to test is a potato. Now a potato comes from a plant, so we would assume that that plant stored that glucose, turned into starch, stored it in the potato as starch. We're also going to look at the leaf of a house plant. Okay, now we don't go around eating the leaves off of our house plants, but we're going to see whether or not those leaves do have uh, starch in them. So that is our question. Do these things that are the products of plants, do they contain starch? Well, I took a little piece of potato and put a little iodine on it, and you can see that indeed this turned that very dark blue. So you need to write this, draw this onto your lab report. This is item number three. And when you compare that with our two controls, the bread and the cheese, you can see that this looks much like the bread did, and that confirms that potatoes do indeed contain starch. 
That starch was produced by the plant and it is there for us to eat it. Now let's look at our next item, the leaf of a house plant. Here is a particular leaf that had iodine. Uh, it was put on there and you can see again when we compare that with our two controls you can see that the starch that there was indeed starch in the leaf of the plant and that was turned very dark blue by the iodine. So again we confirm that this plant has produced starch and it stored it in its leaves. So that's your lab report um, for experiment 9.2. You can put that back in your binder if you want and you will finish it this week as part of your assignment sheets or, or as part of your assignments. It's on your assignment sheet and you will turn that in next Monday. That's the end of our lecture. Please refer to the email that I sent you as far as the things that I need you to turn in to me via email this week.